हेलो नमस्कार सिक्किम क्रॉनिकल में तब सब स्वागत है आज इस एडिशन में हमी इनोवेशन लुराखानी करना लगी रह आज हमीसंग होकुवन थीआईएम जो एक्मेन एआई को फाउंडर हो रो के मैला विस्तृत रूप में वहाँ बताने तर छोटकी में भन चाहता खेल वहाँ यो एसिस्टिव डिवाइस बेसिकली भिजुअली इंपेयर्ड मानस डेवलप कर जुन यो डिवाइस यो गगल लगाकर यो डिवाइस तैयले देखना सकूँ यो डिवाइस ने आँखा को गाड़ी जो चीज आँचो चीज को वोइस टेक्स्ट में गाइड कर त्यो चीज को बारे में वोइस एसिस्टिव डिवाइस ने वर्णन अथवा डिस्क्रिप्शन दिने गद हाई वेलकम टू सिक्किम क्रॉनिकल सो आई ब्रिफली एक्सप्लेन अवर भ्यूवर्स अबाउट योर यू नो दिस वेन्चर कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इट इन अ मोर इलाबरेटिव वे या श्योर डेफिनेटली वी वी आर अ कंपनी वर्किंग ऑन एसिस्टिव डिवाइस फॉर द विजुअली इम्पेयर पीपल द मेन मोटो फॉर अस इज रिसेंटली दे हैव बिन लॉस ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ ए आई कंप्यूटर विजन यू नेम इट बट देर हेज बिन अ डिजिटल डिवाइड बिट्विन द विजुअली इम्पेयर पीपल एंड द नॉर्मल पीपल जस्ट लाइक यू एंड मी सो Uh, we wanted to make sure that all the technology technological development happening happening are also uh, you know you make uh, use to uh, uh, help the visually impaired people so the way how we have developed the device we have a product our product consists of two one is a android app so the way it works is it scans the surrounding for the visually impaired people and it helps them in day to day life for example if they want to know the currency they are holding whether it's a 500 rupee note or a 20 rupees notes it tells them out in the form of audio format mm-hmm. and even if they want to know uh, what what surrounding they are in what objects are in front of them similarly what color is the object they are holding whether it's a green apple or a red apple all those things will be able uh they they will be able to uh, get help from it instead of you know like relying on someone to have this information told to them and the similarly if uh, the person wants a hands free experience they can use this device so this device does the same same thing they just have to wear this uh, device and it it has a magnet so it just attach attaches to the this uh, to the device uh, to the specs and if it scans the surrounding for the visually impaired people wherever they go and gives the feedback in the form of voice So that's how uh, we have developed the uh, product so far. So basically, uh, it uh, I mean like you know the service caters to the visually impaired okay. people. So uh, what uh, role does the AI have, and what kind of like you know I mean uh, processes uh, it goes through? Yeah, uh, the the it, it's mainly computer vision and uh, AI part where we are using is support for vernacular languages. So be it Nepal, Nepali, or Manipuri. or telugu tamil etc will ha- will have support for that using ai and even uh, for the recognition of the objects around so will be the way ai works it, it identifies based on certain parameters whether it's a potted plant or whether it's a uh, tree all those things will be able to uh, you know identify uh, using ai and computer vision okay so where did the idea germinated from Okay uh, so it's a story it's a nice story uh, regarding this i have an uncle who is uh, visually impaired so he was not born uh, blind but at the age of 40 due to a genetic illness he lost his vision so he was a medical professor at that time and uh, i was working as an aerospace engineer in bangalore so when i visited him i was shocked to find that uh, not much has been done about this you know like they, he was carrying uh he was carrying a bulky device to you know read the thesis of students or read textbooks and all it was difficult to carry around but at the same time when we see there was roomba robots which sweeps the floor automatically and all and we had tesla cars coming up and we had boston dynamics robots dancing and which can walk on its own so at that time i it came to me like why not develop a device very small and uh, which uh, which incorporates all the recent adva- advancements in technology and create a product and at the same time make it very affordable for the people uh, in countries like india where the per capita is itself low and also the visually impaired people are you know they have no sense of uh, uh, they they have no uh, ways of earning so we want to place it very uh, affordable for them so that triggered me to you know leave my job and start a company as such so uh, how much time did you spend for r and d Uh, uh, uh to be frank we are still in the prototype phase except for the application which is which will be released in one or two months uh so we have been working on this for around 3 years for now yeah and uh, because it's a medical device 
uh, it has to go through certain uh, uh, certifications which we are uh, going to start working from now so uh, can you explain us how did ai smu tbi like you know uh, played a role of a catalyst in developing your prototype yeah i i think name anything uh, aic smu tbi has been there always for us uh, for example from industry connect uh, and to find the marketing strategies they were always they gave us uh, lots of uh, trainings and even the boot camp physical boot camp where we get to interact with the mentors and exchange our ideas even within the startups mm -hmm. all this all these things uh, we got a lot of help from uh, aic smu tbi and uh, being based in northeast i think it's very commendable work they are doing and even in the funding support because of the support from aic we got the funding of 1 cr from niti ayog oh, that's great so yeah so i i really uh, appreciate the work uh, the the help we got from aic smu so what would be your revenue model for this project yeah uh, so we are planning on two ways one is the b2b uh, b2 b2g uh, so we will be selling it to the government which acquires from us and they would be distributing it at free of cost to the visually impaired people and other philanthropic organizations also they would like lions club for example they would purchase from us and they would distribute it at free of cost to the visually impaired people so that's how we are going to generate our revenue so we see like a uh, lot has been done in in like you know to order to encourage and support the entrepreneurs like you know pan india and we talk about uh, you know uh, such as institute like ai smu tbi which has been an incubator for so many budding entrepreneurs all across like you know the northeast region and for north india so tell us like you know how do you see i mean because uh, entrepreneurship is uh, like you know one important component of the indian economy right how do you see i mean is it going in the right way or what kind of support system is more needed yeah uh, to that question i think now we are in the era of uh, fourth industrial revolution it doesn't matter where whether you are in a remote part of the country or you are in the hub so ai and 3d printing 3D printing is as good as uh, teleportation. For example, I design a model, I design a toy for someone, then I I design it and I give it for print in the place where the person is. There. Then they can simply take a 3D print out of it. So it doesn't matter. The internet is very good. So the next, uh, you know, the next uh, uh, unicorn or the next company coming out from the north is, I think it's very probable. And the ecosystem provided by uh, AIC, uh, uh, the incubators such as AIC, SMU, TBI, I think uh, it's very, uh, you know, like probable to to make some such companies come up from here. So how long we have to wait to see your product in the market? Uh, yeah, so I think uh, the app would be ready in another uh, two or three months. We have been doing pilot trials on the visually impaired people. We have been getting feedbacks from them and we are we were uh, re-implementing certain areas, we take their feedbacks and all. So, re, uh, so we'll be making the app available very soon, and the device also will be coming out in another one year or so. So, I think uh, I think it will be able to help the visually impaired people. So, uh, you decided to quit your job, which was paying you, I'm sure, handsomely, right? So, entrepreneurship is all about taking risk and like you know challenges in life. Was it was that difficult for you to like you know come out of the comfort zone? Uh, yeah, it was in fact, uh, yes, but my parents and everyone around me were very supportive. Like, because now the trend, uh, in at least in my pl place where I live, like everyone is running after government jobs, the Manipur. civil service, yes, Manipur, uh, civil service, or government jobs, because uh, that thing. So it was a kind of, uh, you know, like uh, clash between uh, those things and all. But my parents and everyone around me were very supportive. So that gave me the enthusiasm and the you know, courage to. Uh, start e even though we are not successful right now but i think we will not look back and will go all the way so what's your vision for this project uh, i think i think the main uh, problem with the uh, devices as such is that it's it's an emerging technology uh, and uh, not many people have worked in this uh, kind of domain so uh, and even the the problem with the such devices which are imported it's very costly, you know, like there are such devices uh, which are made in Israel and uh, other countries. But when it is imported, it costs around 5 lakhs rupees. So how would a visually impaired people buy such a device? So we are planning to make it very affordable. We are planning to price it at 15,000 to 20,000 range. 
so that it will be you know uh, it will be helpful for the visually impaired people and at the same time uh, the empowering of the visually impaired people doesn't stop uh, at giving i mean helping them to do day to day lives easier we are also connecting with corporations like uh, uh, atypical advantage or uh, cheshire some uh, disability trust so the way it works is we are also helping them uh, helping the v- youth of visually impaired people use our device and help them place in companies like amazon flipkart mm-hmm. and other big companies so that they will be able to do the office work and uh, make u- be- best use out of this absolutely so before i wind up this interview i just wanted to understand what is the core value of your company uh, the the core value uh, as as i would say is like to make the best best use of technology uh, to help uh, to help the differently able people so so that they will be able to live a normal life just like you and me absolutely thank you so much for speaking with us uh, kevin and all the best for your future on the way thank you so much with ashis this is nirmal for sikkim chronicle get all the credible news on the go download the sikkim chronicle app